Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be another insight into my makeup collection. Now I have already uploaded, I think three of these videos. One was about primers and foundations. The other was things like bronzers, blushes, highlighters. And the most recent one was my eye makeup collection. So this is gonna be my last one because this one is all about my lipstick, lip collection. So if you haven't seen the other three, check them out after this one. So I'm going to be talking through all the different categories that are to do with lip products and then talk through every single item within those categories. So it's going to be a real insight into the different lip products that I own. Also, if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. If you have already, then thank you very much. And let's just get into all of these different lip products that I own. So if we start off with lip balm, then I have four lip balms, one of which is in my car. <laughs> It's a Get Fruity Watermelon Squeezy Tube, a little bit like this one here. But I quite like having that lip product in the car, so if I feel like I need to quickly top up my lips, if they're feeling a little bit dry whilst I'm driving, I can one-handedly just quickly squeeze some of that on while I'm at the traffic lights, for example. So that's quite handy to have. The other lip balms that I've got are this La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Lip Balm. This is really good when your lips are super dry, quite chapped, quite dry, quite kind of sore as well. So during the drier months, the winter months, when that can happen, this is a really good product to have. I haven't used this in a while because I haven't experienced that my lips have been that dry recently, but last winter I was using this quite a bit. So I think I probably have, I'm up to about there. So not quite half left, a bit more than that, but I'm assuming once autumn and winter comes around again soon, this will start coming out a bit more. I've also got a little tub of Vaseline here. This is an aloe vera scented Vaseline. I hate the little tubs, the little tin tubs that Vaseline comes in. I just find them so difficult to open. And because of that, I wasn't using it that often. So I decanted it into a little Primark tub here and I find this so much easier to use. So because of that, I'm getting through this Vaseline way quicker now. And this is all, all I have left now. But not really sure what I can say about Vaseline that hasn't already been said. It's just really handy to have a little tub of Vaseline. And I apply this kind of on no makeup days, just around the house. And also I apply this before I go to bed as well. And then last lip balm product is the Laniage, Laniage, I'm not sure how you say it, lip sleeping mask. And this is in the berry scent, which is lovely. This is 20 grams, so this is fairly big and this is going to take me ages to get through but it's also slightly, ever so slightly tinted. So this is quite nice as a lipstick topper as well. This is really good for dry lips. Not quite as good as the La Roche-Posay though, but really nice lip balm to apply before bed as well. Okay, moving on to my lip liners then. I have seven lip liners. I have used up two this year, which is pretty good because I find lip liners are those types of makeup products that you don't really ever tend to use up. They just tend to always be there. So I'm glad that I've used up two, but I kind of want to use up a couple more. The ones that I want to use up are this Collection Pink Lip Liner. This is a really vibrant, summery pink lip colour. This would work quite nicely with maybe like a bold liner and a bit of gloss over the top of this lip colour. And the lip liner itself is a retractable... Ooh! That's how much I've got left, so I don't have much at all. Ooh, I might put that in a project pan soon. But yeah, quite a nice lip liner, not much left. And I do quite like the retractable tubes as well, so you're not actually wasting anything by sharpening. So I want to use that up. It's not really my type of shade. The other one I want to use up, and just because I've had this for about five or six years, <laughs> is Pink Princess by Max Factor. Really nice creamy pigmented liner. Not as vibrant as the collection one. Again, not really my shade, and that's kind of why I want to use it up, because it's not my shade, and because I've had it for so long. I've also got an Estee Lauder nude one. This is really lovely for my, obviously, nude lipsticks. So a couple of my Soph lipsticks, which I will show you in a bit. Really lovely, kind of peachy, browny, nude lip liner colour. And then the rest are all by MAC. So I've got this one here called Strip Down, which is meant to be like the perfect nudie brown lip liner shade for people with sort of fair to light skin. So a darker version of that Estee Lauder one there. And this one is also lovely to wear with my nudie lipsticks. 
I then also picked up oak. I don't know why, because oak and strip down are very, very similar. I think this is more neutral toned. Is it more neutral toned? Is there a massive difference between those shades? Is this going to focus? Probably not. But yeah, you can see that those three lip liners there, those brown ones are very, very similar. I've then got Subculture, which is a really nice sort of muted pink shade. So this is great for my pink lipsticks, like my Soph Cake lipstick, also MAC Faux, that one's really lovely as well. So it's definitely not as vibrant as these two here. And I've then got Brick again by MAC, and then this is my trusty red lip liner shade so if i do want to wear a red lipstick which doesn't happen that often this is the liner i go for but the mac ones are lovely they are pricey but i do kind of think they're worth it you do get a great range of shades really pigmented creamy but they don't transfer super easily last all day just really lovely lip liners to have in your collection okay lipsticks then so i started off the year with 19 lipsticks and Again, I find lipsticks, unless they're a nudie shade, I don't really get through lipsticks. But I have decluttered three already this year, which is pretty good. Now, the rest I don't think are going to be declutters. I think I'm just going to end up using up some of these lipsticks. But this is a category that I want to reduce even further this year. I think my goal is to get down to 13. I think I should be able to do it, though, because there are a few that are running a little bit, a little bit low. They are very close to being used up. So if we start off with the top row then, now these are my Estee Lauder lipsticks. These are brilliant. Estee Lauder do some fantastic lipsticks. They are so pigmented. The colour you get in the tube is the colour you're going to get on your lips. They're creamy, but they're not super creamy where they don't last very long. Really easy to apply. Don't dry your lips out. I think they're one of the best lipstick formulas I've ever used. So the colours I've got are intense nude now this is one that i'm very close to using up this on me isn't a nude though if i show you this is quite dark so if you have dark skin this is probably a really lovely new shade on you but on me it is like a dark mauvey pink lovely though and judging by how much i have left it's clearly one of my favorites in my collection i've then got envious which is a kind of pure red shade pure vibrant red very handy to have in your collection a nice red like that persuasive is a more orangey based red and i prefer this red i feel like this red suits me a little bit more now i'm not that confident wearing a red lipstick but when i wear this shade persuasive i do feel confident in it and i think it's just because i kind of know it suits me because it is more warm toned this is dynamic. I think this is lovely. I think this really suits me as well. When I've looked back on pictures of me wearing all these different lipstick shades, I really love how dynamic looks. Quite a dupable shade though. It is that kind of mauvey pink muted shade that a lot of brands do. But I just love the quality of Estee Lauder lipsticks. And I've then got Rebellious Rose, which I was a while ago considering decluttering. And it's because it's a bit more vibrant, a little bit more messy. But again, when I look back at pictures, I think, oh, actually, I think this does suit me. Next row are MAC lipsticks. And like with the Estee Lauder lipsticks, I love the formulation of MAC lipsticks. I think they're brilliant. I, again, they're pricey, but I think you do get what you pay for. And I like as well with MAC lipsticks that you can pick your finish. You can go for luster, you can go amplified, you can go matte. My favourite is satin because I feel like you have that, that staying power and that vibrancy of colour with the matte formulation, but they're not drying. So I have this one here, which is Faux, which is my all-time favourite lipstick. Quite a blue-toned, pinky lipstick, though, which kind of shouldn't suit me, but I do really love it. This is my everyday pink shade. I've then got a Powder Kiss formulation in the shade Work, Work, Work. This... This is a weird formulation, but I really love it. It's really pigmented, but so soft. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips. Really easy to apply and lasts all day as well. It's weird to say, but it does feel like a powder lipstick. It's so bizarre. I feel like you kind of need to try it to really see what I mean. It's such a difficult one to explain. But again, a really lovely red. I've then got... Look at that. That looks like it's an actual 
bullet. <laughs> this is the Nick Chapman lipstick and this is a pinky peachy type of shade with a bit of sheen to it. And this is a cream sheen formulation. Really lovely everyday pinky peachy light type of colour. And then I've also got another red, <laughs> Dare You, and I bought this because I was watching Fleabag and this was the shade that they use for the main character who always wears a red lipstick. Quite a darker type of red and this formulation is a cream sheen so you have that shimmeriness. So this definitely needs two coats and it needs blotting as well because otherwise once you're talking, you're moving your lips together, it will sort of smear a little bit. Right, next row are my Soph Revolution lipsticks and I bought all three that she made. This one is Syrup. Look how much of that one I have left. This one is in my project pan and I don't have much of this left at all. So I'm hoping in the next month this one will be used up. But this is a lovely peachy, brownie, beigey, nude type of shade. This one is Cake, kind of similar to Faux. And I don't have much of this one left either, but can you see just how messy that is? That's my problem with these lipsticks. They are so creamy that they don't last that long. I mean, the colors are beautiful. And then this one here is Fudge, which is a darker brown. And I wasn't originally as keen on this one, but since including it in my four weeks for lipsticks, I think it's really lovely. It's definitely grungier than syrup. And fudge and syrup work really well with my liners from MAC, so oak and strip down. And then front row, I've got two by NYX. This is the matte formulation, and this is in the shade Euro Trash. And this is meant to be a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Now, I've not tried Pillow Talk, so I don't know if it actually is, but this is a beautiful lipstick. This is one of my favorites. It's that real lovely peachy pink shade, but an everyday pink so pretty and I think this one really suits me as well. Next one is B52 and again it's just an everyday type of pinky mauve type of colour. I have too many of these types of lipsticks so I need to work on using some of these up. This one is quite similar to some of my Estee Lauder ones which I can't quite remember where they are. Where are my Estee Lauder ones? I don't know but in pictures I look back and I think what lipstick was I wearing there because it looks the same as other ones. This one is a Max Factor one, and this is my Vibrant Coral shade. I'm running out of space. Yeah, that's my Vibrant Coral summery type of shade. And then for the autumn months when I want to wear a berry, when I want to go a little bit more vampy, this is Entwined by Clinique. And this was my kind of like perfect berry shade. Because once you know your foundation shade in their even better foundation, I can't remember what it's called. They match you up to three lipsticks. The two lighter pinks I was matched up to were brilliant. I used them up super quickly. Those were like my everyday pink shades. But I don't tend to wear these darker shades. So that's why this one has kind of stuck around. But it is beautiful. It really does suit me. And then lastly is lip gloss. Now I only have one lip gloss. I'm not a huge lip gloss fan. But saying that, I feel like I'm starting to become one. And this is the only lip gloss I have. And this is by Vive. And this is the Lip Dew. This I'm wearing so much around the house when I just want a bit of lip colour or a lip product on my lips. But this works lovely on its own or this works really nicely over the top of a lipstick. The only thing I don't like is that there are some specks of like gold glitter in it, which I'm not a big fan of. But this doesn't feel gloopy and sticky like a standard lip gloss will. This really does feel hydrating, nourishing, and it's because they call it like a lip oil as well. But I just wish it didn't have those gold glitters in it because I'm not sure if I would repurchase it and it is because of those little specks of glitter but super lovely to just wear around the house. I don't need a mirror to apply it. And I think I can get through this pretty quickly. So there we go. Those are my lip products. So my liners, balms, lipsticks, and lip glosses. Well, lip gloss. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found that kind of quite satisfying to have a nose through my collection and see all of the different makeup products that I own. I will link my other three videos like this as well. So if you haven't seen those, please go and check them out. And if you yourself have any videos like this, please let me know because I love to kind of see all the products that people own. But if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't as well. That would be really lovely. And I hope you have a lovely day, a lovely week. And I will see you all again soon in my next video. Bye, guys.